Hello and welcome to another one of our videos where we compare the Mavic Air 2 with the Mavic Mini. I'm G and as always, I'll be hosting today's video. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to go check out our channel where there's more just like it and subscribe so you get notifications when we upload new videos. So let's jump straight into it. In this video, I'll be covering the differences between weight, flight time, camera capability, maximum speed, and obstacle avoidance. Let's kick off with the weight and compare them between the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic Mini. The Mavic Air 2 weighs 570 grams, which is very lightweight when it packs so many features. However, it's still not as impressive as the Mavic Mini, which sits at 249 grams. With the Mavic Air 2, you will have to register your drone, which does put some people off. However, the increased weight isn't always a hindrance. You get a stronger and denser plastic, which in turn makes the drone more robust compared to the Mavic Mini. Now let's check out the Mavic Mini. It's remarkably lightweight. That's one of its huge selling points. It's really ideal for those traveling on weight restrictions or those who just don't want to carry a bulky drone around. You can actually fit this in your pocket or bum bag. I did that while I was traveling Seymour in France. The Mavic Mini is a great accessory to add flair to your videography game. It sits at a tiny 249 grams. Okay, now it's time to check the flight times between the two drones. The Mavic Air 2 has an amazing flight time of 34 minutes in the air. This offers the pilots more time in the air to get the shots they want and the maneuvers you need. Now, compared to the Mavic Mini, which has a 30 minute flight time, the extra four minutes that the Mavic Air 2 has starts to mount up and gives you a lot more extra flight time. For example, if you have three extra batteries for the Mavic Air 2, that amounts to 12 minutes extra flight time over the Mavic Mini. The Mavic Mini comes with a 30 minute flight time, which is still really impressive, but every second counts in the air. So those extra four minutes offered by the Mavic Air 2 really gives it that edge. However, once again, you could just throw an extra couple of batteries in your bag and you'll be safe to fly for a couple hours. This is all up to your personal preference and what you feel will suit you best. Now we're gonna move on to the camera capability. The Mavic Air 2 captures photos in 48 megapixels. This means you'll be able to capture more detail and accurate color depth. Especially with the new smart photo feature, the Mavic Air 2 also offers 4K UHD at 60 FPS. It has a load of additional features, which I'll pop on the screen for you now. This offers you a more dynamic range of creativity. Let's not forget the Mavic Mini who can shoot in 2.7K HD video at 30 FPS. This is amazing for such a small drone with such a small price label. Although it lacks the option to produce 4K slow motion footage, it still has an impressive camera on it at 12 megapixels. Next, we're gonna fly into the maximum speed. The Mavic Air 2 has a max speed of 68.4 kilometers an hour. This means you can keep up to pace with the action and also helps when trying to create dynamic shots. Moving on to the Mavic Mini, whose max speed is 46.8 kilometers an hour. It does like the speed of the Mavic Air 2, but speed isn't always a good thing. The Mavic Mini may be slower, but this is complimentary to some people. A little bit of extra time will be needed to keep up with fast moving objects. And finally, obstacle avoidance. The Mavic Air 2 has three-way obstacle sensing. This provides you with increased safety whilst flying. This also enhances the extra capabilities of the auto modes, such as active track and spotlight. Unfortunately, the Mavic Mini only comes with a one-way obstacle sensing system. This does mean you'll have to be a bit more careful whilst flying around and when you're using automated features. The downward obstacle sensing system provides you safety when landing or descending the aircraft. To quickly conclude this video, I'd like to wrap up with a couple comments. From this quick comparison, I've noticed a couple key things that I think will help you guys decide between the two drones. First of all, the Mavic Air 2 offers a ton of photo and video features that sets it apart from the Mavic Mini, meaning if you want to use your drone to capture cinema grade footage, then this is the drone for you. Another key point I found was that the Mavic Mini gives you the flexibility to bring it pretty much anywhere you want. It also has an affordable price tag and is a great way to get you into the drone industry and see what it's really like to fly a drone while still capturing high quality footage. 
And my final point is the Mavic Air 2 is significantly more durable than the Mavic Mini. This is due to the tougher materials used when manufacturing, meaning that this drone will be able to take a couple more punches over the Mavic Mini. Personally, I believe that the Mavic Mini is built for those who are going to be traveling around and don't need cinema grade footage. However, if you do want to travel around and ensure that you get cinema grade footage, then I feel like the Mavic Air 2 is for you. If you're new to flying drones and you're new to this entire world and community of drones, possibly the Mavic Mini is a good introductory drone for you. But it all comes down to personal preference at the end of the day. In future videos, I feel like I'll be using the Mavic Air 2 because it does offer a lot more creative features compared to the Mavic Mini. However, that is because I'm a videographer and these are the specs that I look for in a drone. So what do you guys think? Do you think that you'd be buying the Mavic Air 2 and does it suit you and your preferences? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to help support it.